Hi, this is Carlos Cousins, and we're now going to be talking about a problem that asks you to measure uh, differences in degrees of arc. And the way that you do this is simply to look at the difference in arc length. Um, and then once you have that, you can multiply by 360 to get the measurement in degrees. So let's go ahead and do that together. Let's imagine that this is a circle that we're talking about, and this is the center of the circle here. I'm going to label this C. Um, and then we're told that uh, we're looking for the difference between one-fifth of a circle. So let's say that this area here is one-fifth the area of the circle um, and one-sixth of the circle. So now I'm going to do a dotted line and say that this area here is one-sixth of the circle. And we want the difference in degrees between one, um, one of the central angles and the other. So this is the degree that we're looking the degree measurement we're looking for. I'm going to go ahead and label that theta. Um, so the way that you're going to do this is figure out by how much the um, arc length is different. And that's going to be the exact same difference uh, of the entire circle as the difference in area. So an easy way to do this is simply to subtract 1 6 from 1 5th, um, which, you know, you try to get the same denominator here, so that equals 6 over 30 minus 5 over 30, and you end up with 1 over 30. So this area here is 1 30th of the entire area of the circle, and this length here is 1 30th of the entire um, length of the circumference of the circle. So when you're trying to turn arc length into degrees, um, it's very simple. All that you're going to do is multiply by 360 degrees, which is the measurement of degrees all around the circle. So you're going to have 1 over 30 here multiplied by 360 degrees, and that should give you your answer. Um, this is the same as dividing 360 by 30, which should give you 12. And this would be the answer that you're looking for. And you can go ahead and ignore the rest of the answer choices. Um, I hope that this helps solve a problem that asks you for differences in degrees of arc. And um, wish you luck with all your studying.